So what retro would you say uh, has sold the most since you've been you know, in business? I'd say the threes and the fours are the best selling model. Okay. Jordan, just because everyone likes those the most. But our number one selling shoe that we've probably sold the most of is, is the Bread 11. The Bread 11. By far. We've sold more Bread 11s than you could imagine. And again, we, you know, we have dead stock pairs. We do sell new and used shoes though. Okay, so what, what would a brand new pair of the Bread 11s cost? Anywhere between four and 500. Okay. Just depending on, like I said, what we pay for it. Um, but like I was just saying, when we were just, you know, camera wasn't rolling, you know, we buy a collection, say, of 150 pairs. Say you buy that collection for $10,000, $11,000 cash. Some people look at it like, okay, well, these shoes individually cost this amount. No, it's pretty much like you spent $11,000 on, say, 100 pair of shoes. You divide the 11,000 by 100. That's your cost per shoe, not each item individualized. And then you could pretty much make your price from there. So that's why, you know, when we buy collections, we price our sneakers. So obviously we get our money back, but then we also can make get some profit, profit as well. Yeah. Of course. But that, I think that's like the difference. People are looking at it like, okay, this pair cost us $300 when you cash somebody out for 20, 30, 40 pairs. But it's really, it costs you exactly what you paid total for all of the shoes. Exactly. Not for that one particular, maybe you paid that price for that pair, but you may have paid 50 to $75 lower on another pair, which helps you balance off the price on a higher ticketed item. So again, these are my business philosophies. These may not be other people's, but that's you know how we do things. Well, okay. So you said the threes are selling, the obviously fours. the fours. I mean, as you can see, we have a majority of the threes and fours that have come out. We try to always keep those stock. That's one of those things where shoes like, you know, True Blue threes always sell. Um, cement fours, military fours. You know, all these shoes are people's favorites, you know, so we always keep them stocked and they always sell um, all the 11s, they'll sell the fives, the low Jordans, you know, one, two, three, three, three. Four. Well, nah, not so much the now twos. You're, unless you're Trinidad James, he loves yeah. twos, that's his favorite shoe in the, in the world. Um, but yeah, like the ones, threes, fours, fives, sixes, and then it skips probably to like the 11s in terms of like the majority of what people come in and ask for. Yeah. So, so those are the shoes that you know we sell the most of. Honestly, the best shoe that has released quality-wise in this year is those Shadow Backwards. Really? Those Shadow Backwards, the leather on them is really. They kind of come close to the Chicago's too, though. The ones not Chicago's, exactly. Yeah, but see, like it's weird because I've seen pairs of Chicago's that look better than other pairs. Like all the crazy wild shit, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I like, like, like my favorite foams are the original ones. The old Royal Blue versus the pennies. Those, those are my favorite ones out of all of them. 